going on guys mr pipes here aka viking piper um tonight i uh want to do a cigar review it's a kind of a late night it's around 11 29 and uh i thought i would do a cigar review for you guys one that i've been wanting to do for a while um it took a while for these to come in but i finally got them it's Dumit Cigars, 380DR, um, they're the five, let's see, five by 38 Petite Corona Cigar, um, I've only had, I think, one of them, and they're pretty much, they come in the and a wrapper like this. Go and do that, and then you've got you get five in there. I've already smoked one, um, but that was a little maybe about a week ago. Um, these actually came in about maybe they. I think they came in finally about a week and a half ago, so, yeah, um, like I said, if you go to doomitcigars.com, that's where you can find them, um, I'll just put that there, but, that's pretty much what they look like, there's the, wrapper right there but it doesn't have like a pre-cut or anything like that it's not it's not like one of those cheap cigars where you you know you get it and you just unwrap it and it's already good to go you actually do have to cut it um, I'm going to try my cigar punch. I'm going to try this on it. Hopefully it goes by well. I went to uh, Dollar General and bought this glass, um, technically it's a cigarette uh, ashtray because of the smaller grooves for it, but it, it works pretty good. Um, I'm actually going to go out and buy some more for my um, outdoor patio set. I'm going to probably grab about four more. I mean, they're only a dollar. So, can't beat that. But, um, yeah. So, I'm going to punch this cigar and then get into the video. Hopefully, it doesn't destroy the, the cigar, but it's cutting just fine. I'm tearing. The only time that I recommend using a punch cutter is if the cigar is recently, like it's fresh, because if it's too dry and you go to punch, it'll tear up the, the top of the cigar. So that's what it looks like. Hopefully I can get a good draw on it. Yeah. I did hear crickets earlier. It's so quiet right now. I have my TV on mute. And uh, there was actually crickets outside, but there must be something out there that's scaring them, so they, they pretty much quit. So um, I'm going to fire this up, and we'll get into the video. There's a little bit of a story I want to tell you guys. Um, 
you're probably wondering about my intro, uh, Mr. Pipes, aka Viking Piper. Um, so like I said, let me start this up and we'll get into that. But anyway, um, this past Monday at work, it's my, it's finally my favorite season. Um, each summer where I work at, we have the, um, the garden center and that's finally, um, we have the building and the canopy up. We just have to put up some of the racking for the plants. I'm looking forward to that. Um. Like I said, where I work at, I pretty much, my, my job is, it's boring, you know, I can pretty much do my job in my sleep, I'm not really going to get into what I do, but, um, but yeah, the garden center is being put up, so about another, it was put up around about two weeks early, um, usually we do it the first week of March, so, um, So the fact that uh, we're setting up early, um, it's pretty cool because I like this year's been a it's been a rough year. I um, I my hours were cut very severely, and uh, I've only been working about two to three days a week, and uh, it's just I haven't really been bringing home enough money. And, um, so, I mean, with my cigar and my pipe tobacco, um, pretty much what I have right now is pretty much is what's going to have to last me until I can start getting some real money coming in. But, um, but yeah, when I was at work, um, before we were, before we were putting up the garden center, um, one day I was, you know, working inside the store that I work at, and a guy that actually watched, um, some of my episodes, um, he comes through my line where I'm working at, and he goes, you know, he's like, oh, are you, you're Mr., uh, you're Mr. Pipes, you're, you're, uh, Matchbox something, something, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's me, I'm, Mr. Pipes, you know, and he looks at me and he goes, he says, you know, you have a good show. It's it's not great, but it's good. You know, I you know I watch it because I, I smoke cigars and pipes and things like that. You know, and he goes, you you kind of you know your your you know your your name. You know, it, it sounds like something, you know, like, why Mr. Pipes, you know, and he goes, that, that's kind of an easy name, you know, for you to just think of, you know, and I'm like, and, you know, I was like, well, I told him, I said, well, I did my research, and I went on YouTube, and I was like, well, before I name myself, I'm gonna look up, you know, on YouTube and make sure I don't steal somebody's, you know, um, you know, identity, they're, their stuff for their channel and um you know i looked up mr pipes on youtube and nothing popped up i think like i, I like i don't even think i found anything that had anything that says mr pipes on there that i remember and so i was like, okay i'm gonna go with mr pipes and then <clears throat> one of my favorite bands matchbox um, oh lord, I can't remember, but I've been saying Matchbox 28 for so long, I can't remember the actual name of the band. Matchbox 12 or something like that, one of my, one of my favorite bands, you know, and I 
couldn't, you know, can't really remember. But anyway, you know, I know, right? Can't remember one of my favorite bands, you know. Let's see, I think if I can name another band that I really like, I think Smashing Pumpkins. Um, Linkin Park is my number one favorite band. Uh, you know, but now that Chester passed away, you know, I don't think they're going to do any more Linkin Park stuff. But, um, but anyway, you know, I'm talking to the guy, you know, he's like, oh, you got pretty decent, you know, um, you know, pretty decent channel for what you're doing. I'm like, oh, thanks, you know, but he's like, you know, I'm looking at you, you know, you got Viking tattoos, you got your Viking Thor's hammer with your Valkyrie and your Viking ship. Why don't you go like a Viking type, you know, name? And I was like, well, I mean, I'm like, well, what would you suggest? You know, I'm, I'm like I said, I could only think of Mr. Pipes and Mr. Pipes, you know, it, you know, it's stuck, you know, even my, my manager for, um, for the garden center even he you know he'll sometimes say oh you know that's mr pipes you know um but he was like well how about you know he was like well how about Va valkyrie you know valkyrie something or something like that or um like Vi what he said viking peterson viking savinelli viking something like that and I'll, and then he was like ooh ooh let's try this Viking Piper and I was like kind of like the ring of it so I was like okay well that's that's going to be another name for me I was like alright it's going to be Mr. Pipes aka Viking Piper Matchbox 28 and that's going to be my um That's going to be my YouTube name. And, um, so, it was weird. I mean, not weird in a bad way, but it was just, it was just weird. You know, some guy, you know, like a fan coming up to you, you know, and, um, or at least someone that appreciated my, you know, my videos, which I know you guys do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching me. You know, I think I have 35 or 36 subscribers, so I just want to say thank you for, uh, you know, taking the time to watch my videos. And, uh, but yeah, it was, you know, it was weird, but it was cool at the same time. You know, like, oh yeah, I like your, you know, what you're doing, you know. I've tried some of the cigars and pipe tobacco that you recommended. And, um, you know, and I was like, okay, you know, that's pretty cool. You know, I'm like, well, which one's your favorite, you know? And he's like, oh, I love the... The Colt Blood Red Moon, you know, and and uh, he's like, oh, I tried the uh, the Captain Black Grape, and then the Cherry, and I was like, oh, how was the grape? He goes, dude, the grape is really good, and I'm like, oh, okay, okay, you know, and I'm like, well, I definitely need to try that, you know, it's some definitely something on my list, and um, but he's, you know, he's like, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, you know, I'm like, he's like, I'm looking to your, looking forward to your next video. I've seen you've been doing some uh rest in peace videos and I said yeah I did one for Trapper John for Mountain Monsters and he's like yeah and then like I said when I found out that Matches 860 passed away I, I had to do one for him because I, I watched his his videos for about a year and a half and I I just couldn't stop watching him it's just his voice was very very comforting and it was a very you, you just want to listen to him talk, you know, there's some people out there that you just want to listen to talk, like, like George Bruno, you know, he, he can, he makes really great videos, I mean, I can watch his, um, pipes for big beards, you know, because when he had that long, you know, beard that he had, and I could watch that one over and over again, you know, just like, matches videos i love the one where he's sitting on the picnic table and there's a lake behind him it's like 5 30 6 o'clock in the morning and he's you know and i'm like oh he's an early bird you know and, and uh you know but yeah it was it was cool so i think that's what i'm gonna go with now it's mr pipes 
aka Viking Piper, Matchbox 28, you can call me Mr. Pipes, you can call me Viking Piper, um, it don't matter, one of the two, but I think I'm gonna add that in for my, for my YouTube, so any, so, but, um, now this Dumit Cigar, I'm gonna get back to the review, I just thought, would like to hear that little story, but this right here, Dumit Cigar, it's the 380 DR, and it came in this little tin right here. This tin of five cigars cost me around 34 35 bucks, so not too bad. Now, he does have, um, he has more cigar selections, you know, he has the quarter size things like that. Some of them, I think it was a pack of, see, I can't remember all the names of them because he named his cigars after bulldozers because we all know, if you watch Gold Rush, you, you, you're familiar with who Chris Dumit is and uh, he works for Parker Schnabel as his gold cleaner and things like that. He also does, um, like he'll do some stuff out in the field if you know, if Parker needs more people out for him, which we all know in the latest episodes that he's been working out there with them. So that's pretty cool to see Doom it back out in the uh in the loaders and things like that. But this cigar, very flavorful. Um, it does have a little bit of a of a stronger taste, um, but it is enjoyable. It's something that you would definitely want to smoke after an evening meal or anything like that. Um, but it's good. I highly recommend them. I highly recommend you to go to DoomItCigars.com. Um, like I said, I'll I'll write down in the, in the description below um, how he spells his name, things like that. But right there, Dumit Cigars, 380 DR, five petite Corona cigars. Again, for around 34 to 35. His prices may go up during certain parts. I'm not sure, but we all know how that goes. Um, a buddy of mine, um, brother Steven, if you watched his video, Steven Nichols, he was in Tennessee, um, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, he went to Tennessee out to Pigeon Forge, and, uh, he went to the island, and apparently the cigars at the island went up about maybe a few bucks, um, depending on what cigar you're into or what cigar um, you normally buy. Like I said, I, for me, if I was to tell you to go to a tobacco shop, there's only two that I highly recommend. The one that's in Tennessee Pigeon Forge. Um, the island, it's called Smoky Smoke Shop. I did a video on that, so... If you go into my video history, or you go to my videos or whatever, how you get to it on my channel, um, just look for, you know, me, you know, the camera's going to be in odd looking places because I didn't want people, I didn't want to be filming and making it obvious and go, oh, he's filming, you know, he can't do that. Um, but I did a video at Smokey's. It's a like I said. It's a, if you go to my Instagram, which I haven't been on in a while, which I like I said, I'm not. I'm not a social media person. I really don't care about that stuff. But if you do go to it, you'll see a picture of me standing outside with a fedora on. That Smokey Smoke Shop in the island at Pigeon Forge. Now, the second second smoke shop that I recommend. I don't know the name of it. I've only been there one time. If you're familiar with Whitwell, Tennessee, or Chattanooga, or the Gorge, 
in North Carolina, the gorge going to Tennessee, there's a smoke shop over there. It's right next to a subway. The subway's like right here, and then the smoke shop's right next to it. It's like right in the same shopping center. That place I highly recommend because that, to me, is another prime example of a proper smoke shop. It has a big humidor running in the middle and then on the sides, unless they change some things, which I doubt they have. They have a decent selection. I can go there and buy my Toro Fuente Maduro cigars for $6.99 to $7.99 a piece. Those are my top favorite cig cigar that I have ever had. It is smooth. It is not harsh on the palate. It's it's a good quality cigar. So I highly recommend that. And my cigar is out again. But anyway, um, like I said, this is my second one that I've had. Really, really good. Um, like I said, he has a bunch of different varieties. Um, he's, you know, they're, they're named after bulldozers, they're named after ha truck hauls, things like that, loaders and all that stuff, you know, and different sizes. So if you want a petite, if you want a quarter size one, if you, you know, whatever your fancy is. But, um, but yeah, um, this cigar right here is, it's the Dumit Silver. And like I said, I highly recommend it. Um, like I said, it's not cheap. It's not expensive, depending on how much you how much money you make. I mean, if you make five hundred bucks a week or more, then you know, boom, you know, take some money out. You know, every so often invest in if you want to invest in some good cigars do mint is a good brand to invest in so like i said whatever whatever takes your fancy you know what i mean you know i know people that only smoke those doll those 99 cent flavored cigars you know that's all that's all i can afford that's fine as long as you're as long as you're relaxing that's all that matters but i am going to restart this cigar because it is good Other than that, how is your guys' week going? I pretty much have the, the weeks off. You know, I get four to three days off during the week, and usually I work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, sometimes Monday. But like I said, hopefully with, you know, the garden center coming back, I can actually make some decent money, you know. Um... And once when I do, I'll definitely be buying more cigars and more pipe tobacco. I'm actually rehydrating some tobacco right now. Um, it's a tip that I got from Stogie Farts off of his channel. And basically what you do is you take a cup or a lid, you take a um, coffee filter, crumble it up, you put distilled water in the lid, um, you put the coffee filter in the lid itself and the coffee filter will absorb the water and release it into the tobacco um i have i bought these candy jars you know you you know like when you go into a candy store they got the big jars full of stuff and it has the lid and you take it off i have one of, i have a bunch of those and i've actually put ceram wrap around the edges so that it's a tighter seal because I have jars that have a um that have a seal on them, like a rubber seal. And those things work great for tobacco. The tobacco stays fresher way longer. And I wish I bought more of those than the candy jars. But the ceram wrap, if you put enough on the lid, 
or around the seal or on the bottom of it, it'll actually keep your tobacco fresher longer as well. But if I was you, um, go with, you know, mason jars or a jar that has a rubber seal on it, like, like you see on the candles, like those old fashioned flip metal flip seal things. And then it has the, the sealer on the side, the rubber or the, it'll be a rubber or it'll be a, um, styrofoam type seal. And those ones work really good. But yeah, um, like I said, if you guys are, like I said, I hope you guys are really doing all right. Like I said, I hope everyone's, you know, for everyone out there in the YT, YTCP community, you know, I hope, you know, everything's going good. You know, we've, we've lost a really good brother, uh, matches eight six zero and, um, you know, it sucks, but, um, I watched, uh, Sergeant 7 Ellis' video, um, that he has been, uh, laid to rest. They, um, they put his Friday 7 Ellie with him, along with some pipe tobacco and other, um, uh, things that he would have wanted to have, and so he's, hopefully he's, you know, really is in peace, which I, I believe he is. And, um, like I said, hopefully we can keep his memory alive and hopefully, you know, you know, if you, if you, if you start to feel like you miss him and all that stuff, you know, watch his videos again, you know, and, um, you know, you always find enjoyment in his videos no matter what. And, uh, like I said, I just hope, you know, everyone else, you know, if you are having, you know, health problems or anything like that, I hope you, um, I hope you feel better soon, and, uh, like I said, just, I really, guys, I really want to say thanks again for you guys for watching my, my videos and everything, and, and inviting me into the community, and, um, like I said, uh, the dragon, I hope you're doing well, um, Stogie Farts, George Bruno, um, there's a bunch of you guys I want to thank personally, and uh, sad to say I can't remember everyone's names. I'm I'm horrible with names. Um, I think it's Beans Thirteen. You know, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, like I said, if you guys want certain videos made, let me know. You know, don't be a stranger. You know, comment down below. Any any video, old videos, new videos, comment. What do you want to see? You know, do you want more pipes instead of cigars? Do you want, you know, you know, what do you want to see? You know, what are you guys, you know, how are you guys doing? You know, drop me a line. Say hello, you know, whatever you want to do. But, um, I really, like I said, I really do appreciate you guys, you know, taking the time to watch my videos. And hopefully these names will stick. Like I said, I know Mr. Pipes is stuck. Hopefully Viking Viking Piper will stick. And I know it will. Um, like I said, I'm very into my Viking heritage. Um, I need to do... You know, I've done my Viking weapon video. I need to do my Viking clothing video. And I have some really neat clothing for uh, Viking reenactments and things like that. That's, that's something that I want to get into. It's a personal, along with my, my fiance. She wants to get into it, too. I bought her a Viking dress. I just need to buy her the, um, the apron. And then she needs a pair of, uh, shoes, which I'm going to try to find for her. And, um, some other things that she'll want for reenactments. They have these really awesome reenactments re over in uh, Woolen. I think it's Woolen, Poland. Um, check out uh, 21st Century Viking videos if you're interested in that. They're awesome videos. I mean, badass videos. And um, so, 
just in case that my phone goes out again. I'm on 29. I'm actually I'm on 30 minutes right now. So if it does cut out on me, I just want to say thanks again for watching. And I hope you guys have a good night. And I'm going to let this video go until it goes out. Like I said, I, I, cr I have some, you know, I deleted some pictures on here that I don't really care about anymore. They're... You know, there's stuff that I have on my phone that I've sent to people, so I still have them, so I deleted them off, so hopefully let's let it roll as long as we can. So, hopefully my cigar, my cigar didn't go out, but if it did, it's no problem. How is your guys' weather, by chance? You know, I got some buddies living in Michigan. I'm not sure if it snowed up there, but here in North Carolina, where I'm at, good grief. Rain, rain for days, flooding, and then we get a break from the rain. It snowed, and then it rained again. Finally, uh, Monday, this past Monday, it was a beautiful 62-degree day. And now it's back to rain, and this Friday we're supposed to be getting snow. How about that? Crazy.